Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Barrow Hill, Curse of the Ancient Circle. Now, before we move on and continue on with the rest of the game here, I must apologize for this about one week long delay. I fell sick over the last weekend and have been recovering ever since. And I still am recovering, as you may be able to tell from my voice, which may sound a little weird or funnier than it usually does. So if it so, so if it does sound different, then that's the reason why. I'm still kind of recovering. But yeah, now, without further ado, let's continue on with the rest of the game here. And right now, uh, in the last episode, we, we found this cottage, or barn, which I assume is the place where the uh, excavation protesters uh, were hiding in. Oh, can I look here? Oh yeah, it's these signs. Stop the D. <laughs> Stop the D. Stop the dick. Oh yeah, that's what they meant. Yeah, well, yes, of course, obviously. S nothing here. Let's move on. The hell was that sound? So many weird sounds going on here. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Well, oh, there's a back there. There's got, there's quite a lot of stuff there. So, so, so let's go and take a look. Oh, wait, what? Or not. Okay, I, gu I, I guess the floor couldn't uh, take our weight. Couldn't hold our weight. And can I turn around or anything? No, it doesn't look like it. So, hmm. So what item can we use here? Trouble. Uh, no, basket. Crayon, matches, lantern. Ah, oh, lantern, of course. Now we can move around. Ah, oh, there's a... a what? A cord? I, I kind of, I kind of forgot, what, forgot what you call this. Ah, oh, tube. Yes, of course. Of course it's a tube. And what do we have here? So what's that? Gas torch. Huh, can we combine the gas torch and the rubber tube together? Maybe maybe we have to fl play play with fire at some point. So we fell from there. Again with these noises. And we can we can't move this uh we can't move this piece of wood out of the way, apparently. Oh, yeah, plank. We can't move that plank away. But th there's a gas bottle here. Aha. Aha. There we go, and do we need this? Yes, we do. And I, I guess we just turn this on. Well, now we have these matches. This... Uh, this seems... To this looks very dangerous to me. Maybe even suicidal, but... Fuck it, let's try it. Oh, I have to light it up, of course. Oh, I see, that's how it works. Damn, I'm so smart. Alright, so, now we can leave, I take it. Yes. But now, I do want to get back up there. And... And and try to see what what all of the, all of that stuff was on the table. Now, if only I could find another window, or maybe. And we couldn't open this door. I take it. No, because it was uh, it was blocked by by the plank. However, how, however, there is this box here. Oh, we can take it with us. Oh, fine. Well, let's move it there. Oh, there. Good. Up. All right, so we're back here, but wait, is there ladders? There must be ladders. Too. How the hell did I? How the hell did I miss those? How the hell did I miss those? All right, where's the damn ladders? There, there it is. I'm, I'm so dumb. I'm so smart and dumb at the same time. Well, now we are here. 
No, what's all this stuff here? Stop the dick. What dick? Oh, oh, you made a Lucas Art uh, a point and click adventure game called Dick. Ah, uh, of course not. I was just kidding. Uh, stop the dick. Save Barrow Hill. Permission has recently been granted to destroy one of England's most important ancient monuments in the name of archaeology. Conrad Morse has been given the go-ahead to, to rip up the ancient stone circle and burial mound on Barrow Hill, including the outer circle and sto stone row, in pursuit of arche archaeological glory. I think we have. Re I think we read this in the last episode, but uh, whatever. Let's just read it again to refresh our memories. Despite claims that the investigation will preserve any finds and decide as a protected monument, Morse is no more than a self-righteous treasure hunter. The area has never been disturbed before and should and should be left in its natural state, not dissected and put under the microscope. The excavation is already underway and uh, and your support is needed to save as much of the site from desecration as possible. The, the archaeologists must be stopped. Join the protest on Barrow Hill and send your letters of complaint to your local council and county heritage rep representative. Okay, and then here's a map. Stone Circle and Barrow Hill. Uh, to sign awful. Woodland uh, foot footpath walks. I, I guess that this is the main road where we came from and then um, we came here with our car and this, uh, and this is somewhere where we stopped. And this must be, the, yeah, that's the service station and motel and cafe. To Winswood's train station. Mm -hmm. Aha. A camera. I think. So. Can I do anything with it? I can just turn around. Oh, there we go. I could press something. Looks like photos uh, from a city. Countryside a little bit. That could be a bus or train or even a metro. Ah, oh, it's a train. Ah, oh, this must be the train station. And then we are back to Barrow Hill, some more country countryside. I assume that all of these uh, photos were taken from the actual Barrow Hill location in the real world. That would be cool. And then there are rocks. And then some random dude. A chicken. And... Some, some some sort of a berry, I take it. There's lots of photos here, and some other random dude. Maybe maybe he maybe he's the one who actually took all of these photos. And well, okay, that's a bit creepy. And that was that. What about? No, it's the same thing. And here, same thing. What does this do? Uh, zoom, no, zoom out and zoom in? No. Well, I guess we don't need that camera. Apparently. There must be something else here too. There, there is an, another lantern here. That would be useful, I guess. Some canned food and I, I, and I guess that's a coffee maker. I don't see anything too interesting here. What about what about that backpack though? I'm interested in that. Oh, what's here? A compass. Who oh, is that a compass? I mean west, east, south and I, which should be N as north, I take it. And a second watch. Okay. Ah, Tre Trevor Spencer. That's a new name, I think. Uh, September 12th. Esteemed archaeologist. Ha! 
I found out today that the ancient site of at Barrow Hill is going to be dug up by an archaeologist called Con Conrad Moores. Uh, it doesn't say. Ah, uh, it, it it does say Conrad. I I I thought I thought there was a typo there for a moment, and it says Conrad. But anyway, Con Conrad Moores. How he got permission? Well, I have no idea. I've been spreading the news at college. So, of co of course, they had to be college students. Something has to be done. We are going to get together and stop them. Ah, college students. So, so idealistic and naive. September 14th. Made our first visit to Barrow Hill. It took a while to, fi to find it's not, it's not featured on any maps. It's no excuse. I hate destruction performed in the name of archaeology. We will search for a base camp on our next visit. There has to be a good lookout. September 16th. Finished the leaflet design today. During media studies, uh, Mrs. Uh, Burkett didn't notice the old prune. Uh, Mark is staying behind at college tonight and tomorrow to print off as many copies as he can. Good to know my college fees are good for something. Print away. September 18th. We're, we return to Barrow Hill and have set, set up our base, base camp in a barn, which is the place where we are, which is the barn we are in right now, I take it. Halfway to uh, Wickwood. M Barry is meant to be driving his van up tomorrow with some more leaflets. Oh hey, it's Barry from Resident Evil. Ah, so, so he, so he, so he used to study, study here, study here when he was a young lad, huh? Well, most likely not. It must be just a coincidence. Anyway, uh, excuse me. They will need, they will, they will need folding. Sarah and Mark are, are, ha are handing them out, to, out at college and will visit St. Awful Shopping Center to, to drum up interest. Why would anyone, uh, why would anyone name the city as St. Awful? Well, whatever. September 19th. It's been raining so much. Well, this is England after all, so you should, so, so, so you should be used to it by now. But I have kept an, but I have kept an, kept an eye on the archaeologist. Vandals. Look who is talking. They have been, they have been, uh, moping and mis, they have been moping and miserable between downpours. Perhaps it's nature's way to, of protecting the circle. And 1.20 p.m. On the same day, in September 19th, I take it, Conrad Morse has been visiting the circle and the altar stone during the storms. He's always muttering to himself. He carries his notebook all the all the time, scribbling away. Scribble, scribble. No doubt he's planning which part of the site to uh, ru rain or ruin. I have a very hard time reading that part. To ruin next. I tried to get a couple of photos, but the weather makes it impossible. Yeah, you take those photos of archaeologists and uh, uh, make it and taking notes. Yeah, you do that. 2:20 p.m. Uh, spotted Conrad's assistant walking down the west road. He went to look at that over overflowing well. I let him go about his business and return to the barn. I am very worried about the floor. It creaks alarmingly, and I fear it's unstable. I should be careful where I step. And 4:20 p.m. Did a quick uh, recce. Did a quick rese recce? I don't even know what that word is. I did a quick uh, recce up, recce up by the stone row as it was getting dark. Conrad went rushing up past me. I thought uh, I thought I had blown it, but he ignored me and ignored me and scampered down to the altar stone like a madman. He shouted something I couldn't understand. Maybe he was drunk. I could smell whiskey. September twentieth. Found us. Found a spay. Found a space stuck in into the into the barrow. Have thrown it deep into the bushes. Ha! They won't find that one anytime soon. Barry drove past and said he will pop back later and take o take o take over night watch. And and then apparently he spilled some ink. The rain has started started again, rattling on this tin tin roof. It will end soon, I hope. It hasn't discouraged the local wildlife as a rather perky squirrel came through the barn window and left some acres on the sill. 11.15 a.m. Went to get breakfast at the service station cafe with B. I assume he means Barry. He, he bought some more leaflets with him. He brought... He bought... Uh, I assume he meant brought some more leaflets with him. Sarah is joining us later. She's bringing up some cardboard and, and posts to make... Uh, 
Black Arts. Black Arts? I don't know. We are going to hold another protest march tomorrow. Up to the circle and back. She told P she, she would call the newspapers too. Things are hotting up. 12.40 a.m. Spied on Conrad near the circle, scratching at the ground with his own hands like some kind of uh, burrowing animal. He's clearly, he's clearly, clearly crazy. My friend, the squirrel has been coming and going. He's left me some more a acorns. Maybe he thinks I can eat them. Funny furry thing. Uh, 3 a.m. 3 p.m. even. Sarah arrived. Said she had spoken to a guy called Peter up at the service station. He's Conrad's assistant for the dick. She said he was friendly until she mentioned she was part of the protest. Bet she, f uh, bet she fancies him. 7.20 p.m. We all cli climbed up the uh, hill to the c circle. The woods are rather frightening in the dark, like something out of a horror movie. We observed Conrad from the edge of the mound. He seemed to be arguing with himself and walking from stone to stone. We snuck away after a while. He's getting creepy. Septem Sep September 21st, 2 a.m. We were wo we were all uh, we were all woken up by the strangest sound, a dull rumble or scraping sound. Then the barn floor started to shake. It didn't seem like machinery or passing traffic. Sarah was very scared. We couldn't see anything outside the windows. It all went quiet. Too quiet. We sat looking at each other for some time, listening as hard as we could. Then suddenly, someone or something slammed into the doors downstairs. Must have been the killer rocks. By the time we had climbed down to look, there was nothing out there. Mark thinks, thinks it, was some, it was someone from college playing a trick. I am not so sure. 12.20 p.m. Woke up very tired after last night. I don't think any, any of us went back to sleep properly. We have been making the uh, plac placards for today's protest. Sarah's taking a break outside as the, as, the, as the paint fumes have made her feel dizzy. Perhaps it's a good time to stop for lunch. 2 p.m. We are going to walk up, up to the service station. Once the, point has, once the paint has dried, Barry's already waiting up there in, in his van. Hopefully a reporter from the papers and some, and some new recruits will turn up. E especially with all those leaflets we have handed out. It'll, I'll be glad to never fold another leaflet in this lifetime. Barry thinks we should paint a sign on, on the standing stones. We have to make our voice heard. We can't let the ancient site be destroyed any further by those crazy archaeologists. All is set. Tonight is, tonight is the night. We will save the stones. Of course you will. The others I don't know, but I have a strange feeling of dread. I can't place it, nor can I shake it. What could possibly go wrong? Maybe I've been watching the stones too much. Perhaps I'm delusional, but I, I, would, but I would swear I saw the sentry stone move as dusk was falling. Well, guess what? You were right, dude. And that's everything. And here we got some, uh, what do you call this? Uh, God damn it, I forgot what you call this, but can I take, take, take them with me? But of course I can't. Of course I can't take them w with me. I mean, they could be useful. Of course I can't. But what the hell did you call this? I just had the words on the tip of my tongue, but... Oh, I can actually look through them. Oh, that must be Barrow Hill. That's a beautiful moon. What the hell's making those noises, I wonder? In before one of those killer rocks are right right in front of my face. Am I supposed to notice something unusual? How many stones there is? One, two, three, four, five. And are there six and two more? Six and eight. Okay.
binoculars. Oh yeah, that's what I think uh, Think these things were called, binoculars. But I could be pronouncing the uh, words wrong here. And, and this must be the acorns the guy mentioned in the diary. diary. Can I pick them up? I guess I just did. Or did I? Oh, I I must have put put them in the in the basket in into the basket. That's what I must have done. And speaking about the basket, we should also try to find more mushrooms. I think. That's what that's what that's what we were doing last time actually. But then we found this barn. But now, is there anything else interesting in here? I would also love to check that backpack on the uh, over here, but. The game doesn't, doesn't allow me. Well, I guess there's just nothing then. Just a window. Still nothing here. Nothing interesting about these barrels or... Huh. Oh, what about here? Ah, just... Just more of these leaflets. But what about... Oh, that's just a, that's just a diary. But what about this stuff? Can't I just take this with me? Or are these here just for show? Hmm. Let's look through these one more time. Well, I don't see anything different. Uh, yeah, let's just let's just leave. That's this is getting creepy. But yeah, it looks like I'm done here. Can I take this? No, I can take that pen. And just leave. All right, I guess I guess we are done here. I don't see any other, anything else that we could inspect or interact with. So let's leave. And one more check around here. All right, and we still and we still can't move this plank away. Fine, let's leave. And I think that was everything. So we might as well as well leave this area. And we are back at the crash site here. And we still can't move forward from here. So yeah, I was I was trying to look some more mushrooms in the last episode. I don't I I don't know why we why why we why we would need more. Uh, I don't know why we would need more mushrooms, but but we can cook something from them in, uh, in the kitchen. All right, so hmm, any, any here? I don't see any. So what do we got? Oh, we still got the rub rubber tube and gas torch. So we still got those two. So at least we got some uh, items. Oh, and we also got this uh, fish offering and salt offering. And I don't know what to do with I don't know what to do with these two yet. Maybe I'll have to. Uh, give them as as uh, sac as sacrifices or tributes to this killer rocks. Uh, should I make one more trip over here just in case to see if I can find some mushrooms? Might as well. Speaking about those killer rocks, by the way, now I would re I really really hope that I was Chris and uh, that that this character was Chris Redfield from Resident Evil, because you pick because you know what because you know what you know what uh, what Chris what Chris would do to those rocks he would punch them he would fucking punch them in the face like a true man that's what he would do just like he did in Resident Evil Five. 
never thought, never thought I, I, I would, I, I would say this, say this, but I would, I really hope that this, that this guy was uh, Chris Redfield for Resident Evil 5 right now. He would just punch the rocks in the face. Uh, we could go up there as well, I think. Didn't we have, didn't we have a map? Yeah, so we are around here now. And that's the barrel hit the stone circle. Have we been here? I don't know. Oh, lantern. We al we already have these mushrooms, I think. Yes. So we just need to... Uh, okay, not this way. Not this way. It's so damn hard to navigate here. Alright, so there's the mushroom, so we can get back down here this way. Oh, is that a rock? Well, it's 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 just a small it's just it's just a small rock. So damn hard to navigate. But if you look at the map, we should have like two op options here. We should uh, right. Uh, right, right, right after we came here by using the stairs, we should we should have two options: either go to the service station through here, or continue uh, forward. Aha! Uh -huh, now we're at the service station. Oh, and the lantern, of course. Stop the deck. Aha! Now we're getting somewhere. Or not. Back. Where's the sign again? Oh, for love of Christ. Navigating is such a nightmare. Oh, there we go. So... Uh, I assume that we are somewhere around here. Hmm, yeah. Ah, uh, you know what? Never mind, let's just go to the kitchen for now. And Ben, uh, ben must, must still be in, in that office of his. Hmm, go in. There we go. To the kitchen nightmare we go. Alright, so... So we got an... Uh, acorn and two different mushrooms. Uh, I don't know. Add, add them here. Oh wait, can I just put only one at a time? Well, do that. I think I must uh, place all of them over there. Uh, can I please leave? Oh yeah, I just had to toss them to the garbage first. But can't I... Uh, can't I cut this into little pieces? Now what about the egg? And I can't move another mushroom or anything else in there. I don't know, folks. I I have no fucking idea. Maybe maybe I need maybe I need to follow a certain recipe in order in order to make the right thing that I need. And we also got this here. 
Oh, wait a minute. Can we break these locks? The same with these two. The, the, sa the same way how we how, how we broke that other lock in, uh, back, in, back in the barn. Mm. Oh wait, there was this bottle here. But that's a fire extinguisher, isn't it? Yeah. It, yeah, it's a fire exting extinguisher, I think. Can I use it here? No. Is there any other, is there any other gas bottle somewhere around here? I don't see any other gas bottles. And I can't plug this in uh, into this oven here either. What about here? No. How about here? Different fish types. And I can't open this to anything. And some beer bottles. Aha, there's also this thing. Oh, I wonder. I'll have to use some specific item here. I don't know, fish offering, salt offering, no. Mushrooms, no. Huh. So I need to mix something in there. Maybe I need more mushrooms for that. Or something else entirely. But yeah, I'm sure that we have to get inside, uh, get inside there somehow. And there's also a second lock here as well. But does it look? It doesn't look like that we can use the gas, the, uh, the gas torch and the rubber tube here in the same way like we used them at, uh, at the barn. I can do this, but I don't see how that's helping me. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything that I can use on this right now. And I don't see any other gas bottles here. Or gas tanks or anything. Well, we also got this fungus guide. Let's take a quick look at this. So what mushrooms ha have we picked up? Let's see. I think this is the, this is one of them. Uh, Amanita Amanita Sa Saponacium, these Latin names. Or just Triad Triad Slumber. Deadly poisonous causes organ failure. Halluc hal hallucino hallucinogenic effects they could also be th they could have also been these too must be well cooked not recommended well these don't lo look interesting enough so I, I guess they're not that hmm? what's that all oh, I guess it was then the other, the, then the white mushrooms, I think they are these, maybe. Young uh, button groves, eat within hours of picking. Let's take a look at the 
uh, look, look at them again. Red mushrooms, so these must be the poisonous types. Let's just put it in there. And then we got this, uh, these white ones. Uh, it, it, they can't be these, these are yellow. Or these. They could be these. Cream with brown flecks. Uh, purple, black at base of cap. Uh huh. I don't know what else they could be. But what could we do with this thing? Why can't I? Why can't I put more of these mushrooms there? Only one, one at a time. All, all right, wait. Now let's throw the, throw that away. Let's let's do the poisonous one first. And can we put them in into these cups? No. I don't think we have even used the wax crayon on anything either. Uh, but you know what, you know what, folks. I think I'm running out of time here, so I'm just gonna trash that and and then I'm I'm think I think I'm gonna end the episode here. But uh, I was just wondering that what could we possibly try to do next time? I'm just wondering that. Oh, we can go here too. Although there doesn't seem to be anything too interesting here. Well done. And I and I thought I found something new. Well, I did, but uh, it did it, it didn't help me. All right. So uh, I think I'm uh, I think I'm 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 going to end this episode here now. And in the next next episode. Well, I don't know. We are, we are just, we are just have to think what what to do next. If you guys have if you guys have some have some suggestions, what what should I try to do next, or or or, or, or if you notice or, or if you notice something and I didn't and and I just missed it, whether whether it be a, a path to a new location or an item or something or something like that, then please do let uh, please do let me know. But right now I have no idea what what I'm supposed to do next. I could try. I could. I could go and try to find some more mushrooms, but uh, I. But but I have already searched, so I don't think we are gonna find some more anytime soon. But I don't know. We'll uh, we'll we'll think about that some more next time. Now then, thank you for watching once again, and see you next time for more Barrow Hill: Curse of the Ancient Circle.